So when I opened the art academy, I was teaching just like every other artist I now kind of give a hard time to. Um, draw what you see, things like that. And um, I got tired of the blank stares. You know, people look at me like, I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, I would say, like, can't you see that? No, I can't. What do you mean you can't see that? I, look at the temp Danielson. Good. Look at the temperature shift. You can't see that's warm and that's cool? No, I can't see it. How can you not see it? It's it's so obvious. Well, it's obvious to me. I've been doing this 30 years, right? So I started realizing that my expectations were unreasonable. And that there were, like, I would find that I would have something I would teach and then I would realize, like, nobody's getting it. And I would think, is there a way that I can maybe break this into two lessons? When I started doing that, I realized like these things I was teaching, some of them could be broken into a hundred lessons. And th because the pieces I was giving them were so big and had so much information in them, there was just no way to be digested. And I started breaking them up into a whole bunch of little parts. And then I reorganized them. Sometimes, you know, you know, part number 23 in a reasonable order became part number two because it was best in the education there. And it took a while to figure out. But I, my school when I first opened it was not very successful. It took me some time. Um, you know, well, first of all, it was a humbling experience. Here I'm this professional. I should be able to just disseminate the information. I know how it works. I didn't know how it worked. And it wasn't until I started breaking it down and trying to figure out, like, what is I, – I came across this quote by Albert Einstein. And I had seen it many times before. But it came to me at a time when I was trying to figure out why my students weren't learning and getting the results I wanted. And the quote was, if you can't explain it so that a five-year-old understands it, you don't understand it yourself. And I took that to heart. And I started thinking like, well, how would I break this thing down? I would never teach this part of painting to a five-year-old the way I just, the way I'm doing it with my students. So I started thinking like, how would I break it down? And so one of the big challenges was accepting that it was gonna take longer for a student at the beginning to see what a piece led to, right? So I would have to teach two or three things like, like Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. Yeah, I don't know what that's doing. You're just making me wax your cars, right? Paint the fence up and down. But he was building up muscle strength and coordination for particular karate moves. And again, karate movie. But um, how many people would be patient through that? Most wouldn't be. But I realized like that was what was necessary in order to actually disseminate the information in a way that people could digest it and use it. And so I accepted that, look, I mean, I might lose students because they were not moving fast enough. And, but I was doing it. I was doing this work in pencil at the time. And so it was very slow and very tedious. And eventually I realized the pencil was in the way. And if we just went to paint, it would be easier. And so the slow, tedious nature of what I had built was then washed away by the fast application of paint. And I mean, I can tell you that, I mean, I, you can't, the, the difference between, like we would have somebody, it would take them three weeks to do, to do just a couple of exercises in charcoal. And in three weeks, they'd have like seven paintings done. And it's like, they're already, they've, they're developing skills already. And we haven't even started talking about skills yet. We're just trying to get some underpinnings placed in the drawing program, which again goes back to why it's no longer there. But um, but I broke the program down and I've spent I've spent the last 10 years laboring all the time, looking to find where is there a place where I have something I'm teaching that could be split in two, to, into two lessons to make each one easier. I watch where the students where students get bottlenecked in the program. And it's like I believe very firmly I, I, this is something very important. I believe very firmly that if a, if a student puts in an earnest effort, they cannot fail. The teacher can fail because it's the teacher's job to, to, to educate them, to give them the skill to succeed. Now, a student who isn't trying, that's not the teacher's fault. But if the teacher, if the student is failing and they are really, really honestly working at it, the teacher hasn't figured out how to explain it well enough yet. And I live by that. Anytime that I see students struggling, I see one student, I assume it's them. I see 10 students, I assume it's me. And so I go back and I look at what I was doing there. How did I explain this? Is there a better way of doing it? Is there a way of breaking this piece of information into two or three? What can I do so that 
nobody gets tripped up in this place. And we've been doing that. I mean, the block one videos are like 10 or 12 iterations. We keep redoing them to, because we figure things out that, that make the program easier, that give a greater rate of success. And so we fix the program. We've been doing that since we started. It's one of the sweetest things about, about Evolve is that it's always evolving. <laughs> it was the perfect name, the perfect name for the program. Yeah. We're, we're doing yeah. it on our end. The students are evolving and so are we. And look, for yeah. me, I've been a professional painter for 30 years. The program, building the program has made me, a, made me a much better painter than I was before. Having to go and break these things down and make sense of them. I say it all the time, like, the foundations are always what are missing, even for me. The career, I have, a, I have a pretty good career as a professional painter. And yet, when I started having to break these things down and make really, really clear, concise sense of these fundamentals, my skill set took off. My ability to paint is magnitudes better than it was before I started the program. And all because of the fundamentals, which I thought I knew, I thought I understood, but I really didn't understand them until I had to explain them. It's pretty cool.